In this session I'll show you how you can do and use string rakes to spice up your bass playing. Now the string rakes are usually best applied with uh, pitchless or muted uh, strings. So to get your strings muted all you do is you drape your fretting hand across the strings. You use one finger of your plucking hand, in this case for me it's my right hand, and you just go across the strings literally raking across so that could be at any speed that was slow you could go fast you can go one string two strings three strings so it depends on of course on where you're playing your your target note so it's as simple as that so um, I'll give you a quick demo um, let's say just um, going to G on the E string and now I'll just rake across from the A string so simple like that just one string rake now I'm going to do a uh, double rhythm like a tututum so I'll go now from the D string so it'll be D raked A raked and then landing on the G on the E string okay and of course the um, the three beat rake or the three rhythmic events you can use triplets or three sixteenth notes or three eighth notes if it's really slow anyway this is just non-rhythmic now with three uh, rakes G D A raked and land on the G on the E string again. Okay, so you hear a bit of a almost like harmonics there that uh, it doesn't matter too much because in your playing that will be the actual harmonic or the higher pitch sound will be somewhat uh, masked by the other instruments that are going on around you. And you want a bit of presence in those string rakes anyway. I'll show you later on when I go through a track so you can see what that actually sounds like. Okay, so simple as that. Now, of course, if you're raking to, um, let's say, to the A string, I'm going to play the C on the A string now. Um, you've got the same possibilities with one and two beats. One, two, so that was the D to the A and then the G, D. To the A string but if I'm if I want to play three a three beat rake now I would have to alternate my right hand fingers at some stage so what I can do I'm going to start with the first finger of my right hand so see what I'm doing there I'm going first finger rake first finger rake first finger rake and then pluck the string with my second finger because you've got that uh, that quick rhythmic event between the t t t term, so you it's ideal to actually use alternating fingers. So as soon as you've got, as soon as you have um, fast uh, rhythms on the same string, you really must use alternating plucking hand fingers. Okay, what I'll do now is I've got this band in a box uh, track set up using G7 for two bars, C7 for two, G7 again for two, C7 for two. Uh, then it goes. Uh, again G7 for 2, C7 for 2, so that's the first 12 bars, just G7 and C7, and then it goes to a B flat 7 just to change the harmony a bit for 2 bars and then back to C7 for 2, so it's in fact a 16 bar form and I'm just going to go through three choruses, this will be a very technical sort of demo now, I'll go through three times those 16 bars, in the first run through I'm just going to rake to the first beat of every chord, in the second run through I'll do a double rake so to 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 the first beat of every chord and then I'll go finally on the third take I'll rake um to 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 so I'll rake um you know like with uh three three beats in this case the feel I've set up it'll be a six they'll be 16th note rakes so one sixteenth two sixteenths and then three sixteenth notes raking across and then playing the root notes of the chords on beat one now of course you can you can play the root notes of the chords and you can do the rakes um, in other places on other beats but just for simplicity's sake I'm just going to keep it simple now and only go to the first beat of the bar with the rake so it means I'm raking from the um, upbeat or an anacrusis to that uh, first beat okay nearly ready to go
Okay, you probably would have um, heard there on the last course where, did, where I did the, the three beat rake that some of them were inaccurate, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, this is just a first take uh, like I usually do, first take pass. Um, anyway, you've got the idea. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use exactly the same band in the box track again. Um, and I'll just sort of do um, something improvised doing the rakes in different places and uh, not in the same order of course just so you get an idea of how you could use it more musically. All right here we go. So again there as you can see and here first take but just gives you a bit of an idea that wasn't all that musical yet but you know it's just a practice run through so if you do that you're well on your way to spicing up your bass playing using muted string rakes enjoy whatever you get out of this bye for now